everyone, my name is Marina and today I'm gonna explain you what is a state machine. So for first let's start from the variable. Here we have a variable uh, who will uh, give uh, his content to uh, another block and uh, then we start uh, our program from the what we have here. We have a case which name is LS Read. Uh, who helped the robot uh, follow the line. So, uh, how it follows the line? It turns right or turns left. What we have in uh, line follower turn right and line follower turn left. Uh, we have uh, a block who uh, turns right and turn left and uh, another variable uh, who goes to its obstacle. If we have obstacle, uh, it goes to obstacle case and go around the obstacle and it returns to LS3. If uh, we don't have obstacle, it uh, checks uh, if there is a wall. If we have wall, uh, it starts to uh, follow the line, uh, fo follow the wall by this ultrasonic sensor. Uh, if we don't have a wall, it checks the color. Uh, if uh, it see blue, it turns right. If it see green, uh, it turns left. And if it see uh, red, it's uh, where is our red? Uh, if it see red, it stops and gets out of the loop. And uh, so, if we don't have any of these colors, uh, we are uh, returning to LS read. If we have a wall here, let's go to the wall and start to uh, follow the wall uh, by turning uh, right or left. We can see cases here, wall follower turn right and wall follower turn left. Uh, oh no, 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 wall turn left. Uh, uh, and uh, it turn right and turn left and uh, checks if there is an obstacle. So uh, if it uh, if you see the obstacle in, uh, in the middle of the uh, wall, it's go around the obstacle. Uh, if, it's, uh, if we don't have an obstacle or a wall or uh, any of our colors, red, green or blue, uh, well, the robot follows the, uh, the line. So this is the end. Thank you.